let's have a look at the GNT Master 2. First, a visual inspection. Uh, the hand setting uh, is the problem at the moment. You can wind it okay, no problem. So in a moment we'll have a look at the uh, amplitude. But the hand setting is completely stuck. Rusty. And it's some beetje ook. I wasn't expecting this. I'm going to take off the automatic winding module, this bit, and have a closer look underneath. Strange, there is some lubrication still there. If I move it around, original Rolex. Those are domed rubies. That one, that one, and that one. And the date ring is sliding on top of those rubies. The carbon tip tweezers, not to make any scratches. Lubrication is still there, but there has been some rust. So the winding was okay. With the sliding pinion and the winding pinion, and then this wasn't okay. So the GMT function, hey, and there you can see the moisture as well. I cannot believe that is lubrication, especially on top here. There, some sediment. As far as I can see it, the hey, look at this! What's it? Oh, 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 oh! What's looking there? What's happening there? Here, the cannon pinion is completely seized. Uh, to set the hands, uh, the cannon pinion must move over the pivot of the center wheel. If it's completely seized and you want to turn it, the teeth will break. But look at the... I don't believe... Well, this shouldn't be lubricated anyway. And I was wondering, <laughs> just a moment, maybe you saw it, why these teeth are so black because there shouldn't be any lubrication there. There's no lubrication needed over here. I think this watch has had a broken crystal. Look at this. A piece, a piece of crystal. And that's yeah, it's gone in the movement when a crystal is broken, especially with a sapphire. And the, there are some chips from the crystal. We always recommend to um, at least remove the hands, remove the dial and clean the movement or rinse it because it can only be crystal from a, a glass from broken crystal but the thing is the lubrication here on top there shouldn't be any lubrication there on the inside of the it should be on the inside of the cannon pinion not the outside Well, remove the cannon pinion and let's see what happens because it seems to be completely seized due to moisture that's what that's what we know now look at the gunk and the, the amount of oil on the teeth here there shouldn't be any lubrication and it's moving freely now and fine so 
the piece of glass I picked out of the movement really seized between that wheel and the cannon pinion but the cannon pinion should be lubricated this is a strange gesture sorry should be lubricated on the inside and now it was lubricated on the outside of the teeth really 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 strange now because of the moisture and the rust in the movement uh, I'm going to do a full revision.